Welcome to the demo video of our Budget by Paycheck spreadsheet. Our Budget by Paycheck spreadsheet contains five tabs. A Start tab where you can change your currency and change your subcategories. A Log tab where you'll enter all your transactions. A Budget tab where you can compare your budget or plans amounts versus actual amounts. A Calendar where you can see all your bills and debt payments added to the calendar for you. And a Bonus tab that will help you to focus on spending less and saving more. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the Start tab, because as you make changes here, it will update everywhere else in the spreadsheet. If you want to change your currency, all you have to do is double click on the currency sign, the dollar sign, hit the backspace button on the keyboard, and replace it with a currency sign or abbreviation of your own. For example, when you type in the euro sign here, now when you head over to your budget tab, you can see that everything has been updated automatically for you. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is add your subcategories. We've already added some subcategories here for you as an example, but to change the subcategory, all you have to do is just double click on the field and type in a subcategory of your own. For example, paycheck. In total, you can add up to 15 income subcategories and 25 savings, bills, expenses, and debt subcategories. The next thing you're going to want to do is add the due dates for your bills and debts. Basically, all you have to do is enter the day that the amount is due. So let's say, for example, you pay for your gym on the 20th every single month. You just enter that information here. Now, when you head over to your calendar tab, you can see that all this information has been added to a calendar format for you. Now that you've entered all your information, we recommend heading over to the budget tab. The budget tab is where you can add your planned information and keep track of your actual expenses and see how you do on budget versus actual expenses. But you'll also be able to see exactly how much you have left to spend for that paycheck. Now, the first thing we recommend doing is to change the dates of your paycheck. So on the top left here, you can adjust the dates and basically the actuals will only show for the dates that you have selected. So let's say, for example, you want to have a weekly budget that starts on the 4th of December and runs till the 10th of December. You just double click on this field change the date and information will update for you. Now you can enter your plans, income and expenses for the paycheck that you have selected. So let's say for example, you might expect to receive a paycheck of $1,000. You expect to receive nothing from your second paycheck and you might expect to receive some gifts. You can now see that your planned amount, that there is $1,550 that there's left to distribute between your savings, bills, expenses and debts. So now slowly when you add information into these fields, you can see that this amount gets deducted so you can easily see what there's left to budget for all these subcategories. So now let's distribute this a little bit so we can have a better look and see what this looks like. So now that we've entered all our planned amounts, we can see that there's nothing left to budget. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is basically add our expenses throughout our paycheck so we can keep track of how much we've spent and how much there's left to spend. To do this, we just head over to the lock tab. So let's say it is now the 8th of December and you have received that paycheck of $1,000. All you do is enter this information here. And now when you get over to your budget tab, you can see you've received $1,000. So this is exactly what there's left to spend at this moment. Now when you start adding transactions, so let's say for example, on the 9th of December, you went to multiple grocery stores to do some shopping. You just simply add all these expenses in here. Now, when you go over to your budget, you can see that its total amount has been updated here for you. You can also see that your left to spend section on the top has been updated as well. So basically, throughout every single paycheck, you just add all your expenses, your income, your savings, bills, debt payments. You just add everything over here and everything else will be added to your budget tab for you. So now when we have a look at our budget, you can see that slowly all the graphs will update for you, including a breakdown of how much you spent on bills, how much you spend on expenses. Once you start adding transactions for savings and debts, this will update too, and a breakdown of your expenses. Since all of your money currently went towards groceries, it now only shows that 100% went towards groceries, but the more expenses you'll add, the more this will update. Now, another function that you might have noticed on the top left here that we have included is a rollover function. The rollover function basically allows to take any money that you had left from previous paycheck and use that in your current budget. Now, as this is your first paycheck, there's no actual amount to show as there is no previous paycheck that you have recorded here. So if you would like to add a start balance, all you have to do is go to the log tab and basically add an amount that happened before you started that first budget. So let's say, for example, on the 1st of December, you had a start balance of $500. 
What you do is you just select a category income as this is a positive amount and select any subcategory. And now you'll see that when you head over to your budget, this $500 has been added. So now let's say for example, the week has done and you wanna create a paycheck for your next budget. What we would recommend doing is simply creating a duplicate of this tab by clicking on this little arrow here and clicking duplicate. Now all you have to do is just change the dates again. So let's say for example, now you wanna budget from the 11th till the 17th. You can see that all your extra amounts are now empty and have updated for you. As you have created the duplicate, all the plan's information has stayed. So basically what you can do is now adjust whatever needs to be adjusted. So let's say for example, if you now expect to receive $2,000 from that second paycheck, but nothing from the first paycheck, you just update that information here. You can now also see that this actual or rollover amount has been updated because on our last paycheck, there was still $1,450 that we did not spend. So now when we go over to our next paycheck, we can see that this actual amount shows here. It might be good to know that the planned amount actually does not update. So basically this will allow you to plan ahead yourself. So let's say for example, on the last paycheck, you already planned to not use $500 and you wanted to use it on your next paycheck. You can just add that information here and your budget amounts will update automatically for you. This will allow you to basically create a budget that works for you. Of course, you do not have to use a rollover function. That's why we included a checkbox function. So basically, if you just want to have a zero based budget, so only budget for the income that you receive during the paycheck, you just deselect this button and now you will only use the income you receive for this paycheck to distribute between your savings, bills, expenses and debts. So we do recommend keeping the original as a template as this contains all the essential formulas for the actuals to load. This way, if you make any changes in any duplicates, you will know for sure that you always have a tab or a template that works. Now, the next step we're going to have a better look at is our calendar tab. As mentioned, the calendar tab automatically updates for you as long as you add the due dates in the start tab. Now, all you have to do is select a month. So let's say it's currently December 2022. You can see that when you add this information here, the calendar will update automatically. You can also switch between a Monday or Sunday start so you can create a calendar that works for you. In addition to the bills and the debt payments, we've also added an extra bill section at the bottom here. Basically, you can add any extra bills here, such as quarterly payments, annual payments, or let's say, for example, you have a bi-weekly bill that you have on the top here and you would like to show that twice in your calendar, you can just add the second one over here so you can make sure it shows up in your calendar. We've also added checkboxes that you can use to basically check off when a bill has been paid so you can easily see what has been paid and what is still left to pay. Now, it might be good to know that when you switch months, so let's say, for example, if you now go to January 2023, you can see that the calendar will update, but the paid checkboxes will actually stay the same. For that reason, to avoid having to select and deselect all the checkboxes every single month or accidentally miss a payment, we recommend creating a duplicate for every single month. So all you have to do, same way, is just click on the tab and click duplicate. This way you can create a calendar for every month and basically at the end of the month, once you've paid all your bills and you're done with it, you just delete it and create a new one. And that's basically it. That is everything you need to know about our budget by paycheck spreadsheet. If you have any other questions, I'll be sure to leave some contact information in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.